Welcome to Midweek Messages. I am Skip Seibel, pastor of First Presbyterian Church, Huntington, West Virginia. Each week I will post a, a story with a message. Today's story is called Final Lamb. Several decades ago, my wife Carol and I were at a Ray Bolts concert. And he sang a song that, that, that fostered within me thoughts and images. And today I have a hard time separating between the words of the song and the thoughts and images that it generated in my mind. But the song began and, de and depicted a scene when Jesus was just a boy. He and his father Joseph were walking together to select the Passover lamb. And Jesus asked his father, he said, Daddy, why? Why do we kill and sacrifice a lamb, a lamb without blemish, a perfect lamb, an innocent lamb. And Joseph goes on to explain that the blood of the lamb covers our sins. The blood of the lamb is the pathway to forgiveness. And Jesus thinks as a little boy that somehow that's just not right. That someday, someday there will be no need to sacrifice an innocent lamb. And then the scene shifts to Jesus on the cross before His heavenly Father. As He hangs on the cross, He looks to the Father and He said, Father, let this be the final lamb. Let this be the last lamb that is sacrificed. Jesus is that final lamb. There's no need to sacrifice any more lambs. Our sins have been covered. Our forgiveness has been won. Redemption secured. If we seek answers to life that does not deal with that problem of sin, then we'll never find the answer to our quest. But in Jesus Christ, our sins are forgiven. And in Jesus Christ, we are made new. He is the Good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. He's the just and the justifier, the one who takes upon the penalty of the convicted. He is that final lamb, and we are his. So rejoice this day in your forgiveness and your redemption and your reconciliation. Live life anew as a child of God. Thank you, and have a great day.